Let's look at unit rate story problem number four. If Edward can run a half a mile in 300 seconds, at what rate is he running? So this word is our clue that we're finding a unit rate. And to find a unit rate, we divide. Now to figure out the order of our division, in this example, I would look at the answer choices. So the answer choices say mile per minute or miles per minute. So we know that miles goes in the numerator and minutes goes in the denominator. So I look back in the problem and I see I have a half a mile that goes in the numerator. And then I look at the problem and I don't see minutes. What I see is seconds. Now what I'm going to have to do since I need this to be in minutes is I'm going to have to change 300 seconds to minutes. So I'm going to convert it to minutes. To convert it to minutes you need to think about how many seconds are equal to one minute. 60 seconds is equal to one minute. This means that seconds are smaller than minutes. If you think about it in your experience, a second passes so fast, but a minute takes a little bit longer to pass. It takes 60 seconds to pass. So the idea is that a minute is a longer increment of time. It's a larger increment of time and seconds are a smaller increment of time. So if we're going from seconds to minutes, the number here is going to be smaller. We're gonna have a fewer number of minutes than seconds. So when you're asking yourself whether you're gonna multiply or divide, that's one way to think about it, is we're gonna have fewer minutes, so that means I'm going to need to divide. I'm gonna take the 300 and divide it by 60. I divide it by my equivalents. Remember, 60 seconds is equal to one minute. So 300 divided by 60, well, maybe it will help you to view it like this, 300 divided by 60. If I divide each by 10, I can get rid of the zeros, and then 30 divided by 60 is five. So five minutes is equal to 300 seconds. So I'm going to replace 300 seconds with five minutes, and that will allow me to find miles per minute. All right, now this is a complex fraction because we have a fraction that contains a fraction. So the first step in solving a complex fraction is to make sure both the numerator and the denominator are fractions. So I'm going to change the five to a fraction by placing it over one. The next step is to change out the division symbol, or the fraction bar, sorry, for a division symbol. Then we place the numerator first and the denominator second. And now we're ready to keep, change, reciprocal. So I keep the first fraction. You always keep the first fraction. You change the division to multiplication and then you record the reciprocal of five over one, which will be one fifth. Then we multiply across one times one gives me one, and five times two is 10. So we get one tenth, let me write it down here where I have room, one tenth, and that would be miles per one minute. Remember, unit rate is expressing the second value as a one. So one tenth of a mile per minute. So that would be letter A is our answer. And when you're, when you're doing your work on GoFormative, remember, you just have to circle your answer, and all of the work that I showed over here would have gone in my paper pencil notebook. 